have a gate. It's on the corner of my eye. Hey, over here. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers can try to observe the inside of the Great Crater of Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. And speaking of the crater, you know the Pokemon of yours? The one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it finally, that it can finally come back home? Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. So wait, we need to go inside this thing now. Is that what I'm meant to believe? Kind of dark in here. Hola, Arisa. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you can come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I, I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Uh, I guess? My name is Penny. Well, hey, never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. This piece of kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Uh, you talk like way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no brainer. Anyway, Penny here agreed to help. Also agreed in a second when she heard it was up to help Ursa. Oh, that sentence, I've fried my brain on it. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Ursa, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old fashioned like that. Of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love and my loves include Mambo Stiff and Cooking and Biometric Identification in progress. Hello, Ursa, I've been expecting you. It seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. What? That's Professor Toro? Nimona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. Thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh. It's an honor, such an honor to meet you in person. Maybe not in person, exactly. Arvin, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. Alright, motherfuckers. This is insane. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. 
access granted to lower level. Oh, it opened first automatically. Not quite. Looks like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Don't you step through. We'll be above area zero. Arsa, hey, you have brought Maride on with you. Yeah. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to des descend into the depths to reach area zero. What? Isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say that Maridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch with you again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. Can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in area zero. Let's go! That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? I guess we'd better go too. Oh, okay. Ursa, ready for the worst? Yeah! Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. What's the matter with it? Huh. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. No wonder. No to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Come on. <laughs> and dive off. What? What is this? And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died once or twice there. Okay, bud. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? She's battling something already. She's gone? You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing! Come on already! I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification to progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Battle signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I'm concerned you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Oh, well, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab, the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed in the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? 
Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. Oh my god, look at this. And there's just a pack of jump luff. Two packs. Of, there's a Corv Knight. That, that, that's, that's a Corv Knight. Oh my god, wait, hold on. They're just here? Oh my god, and they're just following? Oh my god. Look at this. It's a Braviary up there with the Corviknight. Oh. I know I don't have face cam. My mouth is just a gape. Is the inside of the crate deer, crate, great crater of Paldea. Feels different from just seeing it in our textbooks. It's so intense. Normally we'd never be able to get in here to see it for ourselves. Wait, where'd Maridon go? Seems like it got spooked by something. It's hiding in its ball. In serio? It's not good. Can we get up back up to the surface without it? Uh, should be alright. Last time I was here. I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through, even if or if you're a real sob story. Why didn't you just call the professor if he's down here? Can you not get along or something? None of your business, Pipsqueak. Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Ursa anyways? Well, uh, I guess he really just came through for me when I needed him. Everything was going off the rails. School's a mess and my friendships, well, ditto. Ursa was a big help getting all that sorted out. Wow. So he helped you out too. Okay. What about you then, Nimona? Ursa and I are classmates. Neighbors back home too. Plus, I said he should aim to be a champion and he did it. So now I've got a champion, bud. Wait, what? It's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship origin stories with Ursa? You're nothing compared to what me and him went through. Our friendship's on another level. Nobody asked you. Stop trying to flex on us. <laughs> Guess we're on the Buds with Ursa Club. Okay, I'm really not sure where I'm going. Oh. I'm just like, I'm just kind of running around. I hope I didn't miss anything. I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh yeah, what are they called? Radish rations? Radish rations? Research stations. Uh, well, it's close. You have such great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Oh, what the heck is that? Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know the species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Ursa, let's take it on together. What level are these down here? Oh, 62, okay. It's not very effective, but it's okay. Jesus!
There's gonna be a lot more of these po rare Pokemon down here, you think? I think that was something, please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Oh, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I would love to get my next shiny down here. Just a random spawn. That would be awesome. All right, let's go in. Oh, a bed over in the corner and everything. Ah, are these ancient ruins? <laughs> they look far too recent for that. It appears you've reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Ursa, if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Shouldn't Penny be the one to do this? Lock disabled. Three or four locks are still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, there was a green thing. What was that? Wait, is that is that like my way out of here? I, I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh, is that a backstory reveal? Penny, shh. He was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mabistiff was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I tried not to think about it too much, tried to just be proud, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But the truth is, I would have rather just had a dad who was there, even if he wasn't that great. I haven't seen him for ages now, unless you count seeing him in the news or whatever. He used to at least get emails sometimes, even those stopped a couple years ago. Then there he appears, out of the blue, and tells me we gotta come to Area Zero? <laughs> Some family, right? Uh oh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And sorry about earlier, I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Last time, last time I came in the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my dad. I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy, weird, metallic machine thing. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, robot than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. I hurt Mabistiff real bad, so it's not like I just forget. I don't ever oh, I don't ever want to run into that thing again. It was that strong, huh? I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nomona, you know that? Like, I ain't even moving on my mini-map or anything. Like... Okay, what are we fighting this time? Wait, is this the evolution? Yeah, it is. I was like, it's big. There's the second research station. About time, too. Let's, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. 
I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. What? Hey look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. Oh my gosh, so cute. Ursa, it's battle time. Iron Bundle. So we had iron treads, now we have iron bundle. Oh heck yes. Wait, can I throw a Pokeball at it? No, I can't. It doesn't give me the option. I have to defeat it. That was interesting, just took its own head off. Finn isn't leveled up. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me up to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for Deli Bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Identical. This looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? No, what's that book? Monsters of Area Zero, as we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. And though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Remember the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet, differences such as texture, the way it moves, just is biologically separate. To say nothing of its treads of iron. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Ursa? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure. But they use moves and battle just like the Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on, there's no way that's possible. The, the Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? I mean, you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for, being for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... 
Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we meet face to face. It would be easy for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Ursa. Use the central panel. Disable the other lock. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Ursa. You know that book you told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one that he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Take care of it for me, okay? Let's go, let's do it. I'm just going to continue moving down. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nemo is actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Ugh, no, no way. That's so not my thing. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That's some pampered little princess stuff right there. Galate, Penny. What is your family super normal in? My, my, my family is unbelievably annoying. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy. Calls me things like Pen Pen. Yeah, that's a real downer for your dad. How could his own daughter describe him like that? Don't you dare take his side. Uh, Ursa, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. Met her? Yeah, I got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. Really? Wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted really great. I once again don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to read and I I, I kept going down, but now there is no down. Maybe I was supposed to come down there and go back this way. Instead I turned with the water. Yep, exactly what I was supposed to do. Right, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. Penny, such a worry wart. Hmm? See? See? Wait a sec. It's just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along? Oh, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Ursa and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us.
Alright, let's rip this iron treads apart. Yeah, I was about to say, no shot, I don't. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came from down here. Did you get to meet with these Pokemon before our crater get-together? Jealous. If we got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Toro doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like oh-so-brilliant Professor Toro ever messes up. Come on, Ursa, let's get into that research station. Identical station. More lore. And made to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Uh, feeling rough, Penny? No, it's not that. I've been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what am I right on? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? You're right. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off future vibes, even if it's even its name sounds futury. Wait a sec. Totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You and Maridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Oh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder everybody's a little star pupil. Guess I got no choice. But to tell you what I know, the Pokemon Maridon, that is... That was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor. Maridon, which I entrusted to Ursa, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar, a Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do, they do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. I was never able to bring over more than two species, two specimens of Maridon. You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Maridon. Heartwarming family reunion. Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'd be if they could get the, the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah. That sounds nice. You can proceed. Disable the next lock. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to final research station. Well. I think I see where we're supposed to go. This Maridon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Ursa, you gotta let me battle Maridon right now. Uh, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. 
That was the first I heard of it coming from the future myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. My dad made me promise to keep it a secret. I had to take care of it for him too. So that's why he knew so much about it. Yeah, but one day Maridon just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it so that the secret was out. Once that happened, my dad took it and went back to Area Zero. Because it kind of makes sense of a Pokemon from a different age. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down here somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team, watch yourselves. Let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. You should feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. So just me or do the crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrorist lies? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We gotta go all the way down. This is amazing. A nice Dunsparce, some Deli Burr or Iron Bundle. Some right on came to our age through the time machine. They lived here a while with the professor along with another one of its kind. Seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to its second home, I guess. The place. I guess this place should be more familiar to it. Oh, that's great. Just to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jive with how it's been acting all spooked since we've been here. It doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. Really? I was just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? Given how Maridon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you've had bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away somewhere so I know how it feels. Aw, oh, Penny. So, maybe you got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like Nabastiff? I can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into its battle form anymore, right? So I think that's possible. That's so sad. You gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle my ride on myself. Seriously, at least you said it and not one of us. Nimona, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. Jesus. What happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? Stop that, you're creeping us out. 
Hello, children. 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 Children and children. children and children and children. Initiating restart. Yeah. Toro's not actually human anymore, is what I've been thinking. Must be having weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it's definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. If you meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. All locks disabled. Ah, uh, hello. Can you hear me now? Please f forgive my previous transmission. This is some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? Locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Arvin knows something. That was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it's just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up for more adventuring. What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, even big time jazzed. You need to go see a doctor, that's just not right. What's wrong, Arvin? No matter how things turn out, I'm counting to see you through this. There's a thing! There's, there's an item on top of that pokey. Oh god, this is not where we're supposed to be, is it? I just kept going down. Is that a building inside that? Oh my god. Or maybe on the other side of it. That might, that might, that has to be it. It's just on the other side. Just push Garganek off. What is that? Iron Jugulus. Let's go. Let's go, Jugulus. We caught it! Wait, so I caught whatever this is that I don't know about <laughs> before I caught the Deli Bird. Oh, well, this is, I mean, I could call it Hydrogen. It's possible that Iron Jugulus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. I want to see a future gimme ghoul. The thing blue or okay, no, it's just it's it's reflecting off. I was like, I, I, I don't know. I thought it could have been a shiny. Okay, the Dun Sparse is, is over there doing its thing. Iron Jugulus, Iron Bundle, Espartha. You know, I thought Espartha was like machine like before. I feel like I could have walked from the bottom to the top of Paldea in the time it's taken me to go down this. Yeah, 
You know, if I don't finish this... Before I have to go home... I don't get to play Pokemon until the next time I get a record and finish this. I just realized that. Oh! Cool, we're down here. Let's go. Yeah, that's a that's a building inside of the crystal. We finally reached the deepest part. We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are real? Yeah, right. It's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a particular in a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. This is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So the entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed. Um, not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate on the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Dangerous Pokemon? With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You got me and you got you've got me and Urza here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Yeah, well then puts all my worries to rest. Hold it. We're finally at the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. We can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Urban Mystical we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? It's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Huh, I don't know. Go on, Ursa. Let me ride on out. Alright, come on, Ursa. Now that we got my on ready, it's time to open that gate. The other Maridon! Family reunion, it's happening. Whoa, no way. No, something's not right. Oh, 
right on over there, acting like a cat. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There's nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at my ride on. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Not that you should worry about it. Not, not that you should worry a thing about it, any of that. Once we get you back in your battle form, I'm sure you'll be able to go toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if if you want to. <laughs> Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? I think the other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for. Didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come from the ins come out from inside? From inside the gate we just Hariyama. What the We're surrounded. It's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me. They're all future Pokemon. Got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Arcel, let's do this together. We just have like got to defeat like three, four Pokemon in a row. Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. Glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Why are they coming at me? Ursa, help me out here. It says Penny of Team Iron Hands, Penny of Team Star. They all look robotic, but they're not, uh, not all steel. Must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? So this Pokemon get out, we're gonna have to gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Hey! Uh, hold on, Nimona, and why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all of this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. At least the crowd's been thin for now. It's up to deal. I guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong-looking one first. Oof. 
See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All things to our titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face another one of your kind? Well then, let me take some of the burden. Stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabo Stiff here can take them. So Ursa, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Got it. That is, so you got some faith in us at last. Mabo Stiff can't wait to battle either. Right on. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. It's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them. And you got us too, so... So don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave. Stand up and fight. I can't ride Maraid on here. I gotta go into this thing that looks like it's gonna fry me like a piece of bacon. What? He's alive? Human presence detected within the zero lab. Yeah, he's... Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Urza. Thank you for coming. No, back to your ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've been traveling with. You're right on flight area zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. What are you talking about? I'm an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. That's what I thought. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Passed away? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Maridon to survive and thrive. That's why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Ursa, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. What if I jump in and go to the future? That should have been an option. Booster energy? What? I am This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Ursa, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I'll answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unstable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. 
A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present, but the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? This is a time machine. It's a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Toro had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age. That which you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. It's the opening of every other Pokemon game. These Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future, and this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will all break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Ursa, you have, you have become a formidable trainer. They use that strength you've gained to destroy the dream Toro once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We've reached the lowest level. This is incredible. This is absolutely amazing. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Stop the time machine. You will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It's very, it was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overwritten by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, Please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Alright. ID confirmed. Professor Toro. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overwritten. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Ursa. Please defeat me.
At last. At last my dream is within reach. And they're getting... And you're not getting in the way. Just because of what has been happening right here, I want to play Scarlet more than ever. Because Scarlet's supposed to be past Pokemon. I oh my god. I I just I want I want to see the I, I after I'm done with this, I'm going to watch a YouTube. I am not. I'm finding the end of Scarlet and watching the entire thing. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not allowed to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Nice attack. And pick last. So this is the power of the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Okay. I need to change Pokemon. Imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain. going. T-Tar. Oh, no. Go for skull blame. Oh, wait, right. That move hurts this one too. Down goes Titar. And the Iron Jugulus, no, we'll keep going. I can't terrestrialize. I have one Pokemon left. Oh, I... It's not 
not enough. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon's weaknesses? It's not gonna kill me. But the third attack might. That's what I was hoping for. One more hit. And then I'm gonna use, well, unless I can use Gigaton Hammer on the next one, which I'm gonna, probably gonna get attacked first though, so it's not really gonna work. Iron Hands. Keep current. Iron Hands has to be slow, right? Of course, it's not very effective. Fake out. Yep. Oh, cool. Take a ton flinched. We're just gonna. We're just gonna, uh, uh, spam. Oh, we got. It's hitting me with a, a drain move, too. I'm doing more damage because mine's super effective. But oh, no, it's not. <sighs> okay. Paralysis. I think with Backscalibur, I can hit with Glaive Rush. Oh, jeez. No shot. That's going to full heal. Get oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna have to full restore. Probably should use the full restore before I use the max revive. Pokemon again after this? Oh god. I need to terrestrialize. I need to get a, a boost on my power.
Yes! That's exactly what I needed. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability... Iron Valiant. Oh my god. Booster energy was used up. Activate its quark drive. Break, break. Yes! Impossible. Ursa. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Th thank you for everything. The time machine has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Look how big you've grown. So, so proud of you, Mike. Sorry, you were alone so long, our... Uh, Dad? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on now? Is there an, are another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Hi, Jester. Uh, locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Toro's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. He doesn't want to move, does he? Chester's in my room, my, my cat. AI Toro disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initiated. This is the Maridon. This is so... Cool. This is so <laughs> cool. There's the Maridon. This Maridon's probably gonna be terrestrialized. Wait. Yeah, it's locked. The only Pokemon I can use is gonna be my Maridon, right? It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, my God. A Pokeball is registered to Turo.
Hadron Engine. Electric Terrain. And then I have the same thing. Okay, so we have Power Gym. We have Electro Drift, Endure, and we have Terra Blast, if the user is terrestrialized. I mean, this probably won't work. I don't even know the typing. Oh, that looks so cool. Changed into his battle form. Let's go, Maridon. You got this. Power gym. You will fall here within the parad garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. My Pokemon is so much weaker. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles. So my goals will be eliminated. Th this looks like it would be bad. Hang in there, Ursa. Data say I am superior. Fall and become the foundation upon which my dream may be built. Toughed it out so I won't feel bad. You took that hit like a champ. You could do this. I know you can. What am I supposed to do here? Like, am I supposed to go to my bag and use a max potion? Because, because it kind of seems like it, it getting hit and going down to one HP was all. Oh man, really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. See, like it. it hey, Gerso, your tarot orb's glowing. Ursa, move right on! Terrestrialize and finish this off! All of my stats just went... Dragon type, Terra. <laughs> of course. So it would have done its... I would have attacked one more time. It would have done its recharge. I would have got the Terra. I would have terrestrialized. And I would have attacked first. Thus also giving me the win without having to waste a max potion. But that's not what I did. I cannot wait for... Some of these Pokemon cards to come out. Oh my god. You did it! It is not going berserk anymore. How how very astounding. I think that you can manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. Completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in, and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold your faith, to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Ursa. I thank all of you, children. 
But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop as long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom, the way that you came together, working in the league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek or to fight for a treasure all your own. In the way you soared to free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might be as free as you all. Free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am ex inextricably connected to it. So I have made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey it to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with a thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm so sorry I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No? I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, you are right on. Ursa, it is a little sad, but I am afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. He's taking the book. I thought the book was needed to shut it down. Maybe just with him gone, it shuts down. How could you just go? Dad. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it. When I said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just. I. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That, that's okay. Guess Maridon is sad too. Oh, but the battle form! How cool is that? It's so strong! If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it chews like this, I think I'm gonna die. Hey now, uh, let's let's not skip over the big win here. Ursa and Maridon just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Ursa. Yeah, that's my bud Ursa for ya. You know, Arvin, uh, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Ursa? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Oh, thank God. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home. Get a little more fun out of this adventure. 
I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Arson, not you too! <laughs> Are fine, I guess we're doing this. Ding dong, ding dong. Calling students to the director's office. Master Ursa, Nimona, Arvin, Penny. Clavel would like to see you in his office. <laughs> Looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Ursa? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. <laughs> you got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Huh. So we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Ursa, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this one is for you. A Master Ball. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. Wait, I... When did you give me a Hall of Fame badge? I... The Hall of Fame badge is what's needed to get the IVs, and it never popped for me. Unless this is literally him giving it to me, right here. It's a gift we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what the badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me. Splendid. Such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. Master Arvin, I'm sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well... Yeah, it was pretty rough to find out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. I'm a great crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. Guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here, and Mabo Stiff, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you have nowhere near enough credits to graduate, so you'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. Huh? Let's not forget the other good news. Our Academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the Great Crater known to the public, our new champion rank at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, can we not? Classic Nimona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? Why, your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona. I think it's a fine idea. But please understand, on a large scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Part of my intrusion, couldn't help it over here. The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, most kind offered, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up and coming talent. Well, this is, though, that's not to say the only, only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. 
Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? We could beat two, right, Premier? Is that even allowed? Chairwoman is not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Ursa would agree to lend me a hand with my work. I'd be happy to help. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Ursa. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiring for all of those aiming to achieve champion rank, or has their brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask you to bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They're all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect to find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This also provides the perfect stage for your, new, for your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine love mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Uh, there's a bunch of anime I've missed, and it, uh, uh, just, uh, binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll help. Let me, let me, let me help. Excellent. We'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. This is awesome, Ursa. Show this inspection thing who's boss so Lepermer can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filing out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. We each have a crucial role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role's so obvious it goes without saying. 